Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and today I'm going to show you how to make the Tadaro mask that has a wire in the nose, pleated sides, elastic or ties, and a filter pocket. For this pattern you're going to need two pieces of 100% cotton fabric, your pattern, a wire, elastic or more fabric to make ties, scissors, and a pencil. To cut your outer and inner layers, you're going to fold your fabric in half. And trace the pattern. Make sure you also trace your darts. This pattern has a quarter inch seam allowance so you can cut on your lines. To sew our darts and our mask, I have my machine set between a two and a three on a straight stitch. You wanna make sure that you back stitch every time you sew. We're going to do our darts on both pieces. Once we sew our darts, we want to iron them. I do not clip my darts because it adds another place where this mask could fray, so I just iron them to different sides. The next step is to add your elastic or ties. I like to cut four pieces of six inch elastic. That way the ties on each side can be adjustable. Um, you can also put in fabric ties or make uh, elastic loops. So you're going to pin or clip the elastic or ties about a quarter of an inch down on each corner. If you need more pins or clips, you can also pin or clip around here. This is also a really good time to mark your opening. I like to leave two inches as a filter pocket. So now we're set to take it to the machine. Now we're going to stitch all the way around our mask using a quarter inch seam allowance. And you wanna start at the point that you marked on the bottom of your mask. We're gonna end sewing at that point we marked. Now that all our edges are sewn, we're going to turn our mask inside out. After turning your mask to the right sides, you want to press your seams flat. 
To make the pleats on the side, we're going to use the pattern as a guide. You can either use pins or you can use clips. While we're at this step, we can also finish our wire and mark our wire channel. Whatever wire you use, you wanna make sure you turn the ends. This makes sure that nobody gets poked. It also helps keep your wire from sliding out of a hole. To make a wire channel, I like to hold my wire in place and just mark with a pin either side. Now we're going to top stitch around your mask to seal those pleats and to make a channel for the wire. So you're going to start at the bottom where your opening is, stitch vertically with a few back stitches, and start top stitching. When you get to your wire channel mark, you want to get right to your pin, turn your mask, and stitch a few times. We're then going to stitch a little further down than we would for our top stitch. Back stitch at your other pin. Now you can take your wire and slide it in and get it into that channel. Now that our wire's in, we can close this up and continue to top stitch. When you get to that hole, that's where we want to end our stitches. And now your mask is finished. If you're going to donate your mask, don't put it on your face to fit it. Send it as is and someone else can tie their own ties.